This is a basic functionality demo of the drone cell module. In this demo, I'll be calling my drone cell from my phone. And in this setup, as you can see, the drone cell is plugged straight into the breadboard columns, very easily plugs in. Serial communications is done by my FT232, which is connected to my laptop's USB port. I'm having an external 5 volt power supply. As you can see here, here's a 7805 regulator. Antenna is hooked up to the antenna connector, and I decided to use a small SIM card connector. Notice how there's connections over here, so you can connect your own socket. Some people choose to use a larger SIM card socket, such as this one, for credit card size SIM cards. And that's great for products, but for small robots and drones and anywhere you want something compact, I go and use the small SIM card. So before I actually start everything up, I'm just going to open up my serial terminal on Windows. And this is any serial terminal. You can use Linux's Minicom, you can use Mac Z term, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start all programs, accessories, communications, hyperterminal. It asks for a name, the name does not really matter, I'm just going to name it drone cell, hit OK, and then I'm going to select the COM port it's connected to. It's connected to COM12 by me. This is different for every single person. COM12, I'm setting the baud rate, and this one I've configured it 38400 baud, and no flow control. The baud rate can be up to 115,200 bits per second, but I choose to go 38400, keeps things stable and allows me to communicate from smaller microcontrollers. Hitting OK. And now I'm going to power up by applying the external power. So I'm just connecting my battery to the external regulator. And on microcontrollers you could just hitch into the 5 volt power supply anywhere. It just requires a regulated 5 volts. So I'm connecting it now and the lights on the drone cell will light up in about an instant. as you can see the lights are lighting up this top one is power and this is status so and as you can see over here the terminal is empty right now so I'm going to turn it on the drone cell the way you turn on the drone cell is by pulling the power key pin low for two seconds and then removing the ground so we're going to pull it low right now and you can see on terminal the response from here of everything initializing so I'm pulling it low one two and as you can see it starts flashing over here and we have over here terminal C pin ready so the functionality is good and the sim card is good. I'm ready, waiting for a call ready and as you can see it's flashing much less frequently than before which means it's connected to the network so originally it's flashing very very quickly that means it's searching for a network but right now it's good so I have my call ready and now I'm able to Awesome. And now this command over here, the CMTI, we can actually look up to see what it means. So it can mean um, a text message or uh, anything really. So I just go into my manual, I search my CMTI, so that means we had an SMS arrival. And we can go into later functionality, talking about the different SMS, uh, text message commands available and all that. So right now, I'm just going to call it from my regular cell phone. And as you can see, it's still flashing uh, every once in a while. And so I'm calling it now, just dialing my regular phone number. That's the SIM card phone number. And now let's look on screen as I call. So here's dialing. As you can see here, ring, 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 ring. So as you can see, this is controlling this wirelessly. And again, pay attention, it flashes every once in a while, showing it now and you can see no carrier meaning I hung up. This has been a drone cell demo. I'm going to end it off by showing how to power off the drone cell. You power it off just like you turned it on. You just pull the power key low, one, two, remove it, as you can see stop flashing and you get normal power down. In future videos I'll talk about how to send text message, how to connect to servers, transfer information and also how to change all this data into microcontroller uh, format meaning instead of getting 
OK, ready, ring, ring, you'll get error codes to 0, 1, 2, and you get everything in an easy to read format. I turn off local echo. This is the drone cell module. Use it for your UAV, your robot, your wireless weather station. Track your wife, track your car, track your anything. This is the cellular communication module for any project, for any hobbyist, for any engineer. Thanks.